Alright guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to get the zoomed in stabilization effect in After Effects 2020. You can use this effect on many occasions and I just think it's a cool technique to learn and it's super easy to do so even a beginner should be able to follow this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so once you open up After Effects, obviously create a new composition, name it anything you would like, I'll be naming it uh, Tutorial. Now go ahead and copy down my settings, 1920 by 1080 60 fps 10 seconds of duration, and any background color of your choice. Now click OK, and then we have our brand new composition right here. Now I already have my clip dragged into my composition folder right here, now I can just drag it in right here. But if you don't have it, just go ahead and open up your file explorer or download any clip you would like and drag it onto your timeline right here. Now once you do that, make sure your clip is your complete uh, composition size because my one is 4K. My original clip is 4K so I need to scale it down so it's like matching my actual composition size. Now I'm just going to right click this, click transform and fit to comp and it, like the whole clip will fit to the composition size. Alright, so now what we're going to do is choose uh, where of our clips we want to take out and we want to use. So go ahead and move your time indicator to where you want to start your whole um, motion tracking thing. So you just want to like move your clip. And then I want to start here because I want to like uh, make this car like attached to the stabilization effect. So I'm going to start around here. Now you want to press, uh, you want to go to that indicator. You want to move your time indicator just like that and then move it right here. And then what you want to do is press Control shift d and then it will just uh, automatically cut the clip and you want to press this clip like the one you want to get rid of and then press delete now you can move it around by dragging it and what you can do is while dragging the actual clip you can uh, press shift on your keyboard and it will automatically pin your uh, clip to like this zero seconds so i'll show you how to do it you want to drag it and while pressing shift Oh boom, automatically clip it onto zero seconds. Now, now what you want to do is basically uh, choose your end of the clip where you want the clip to end. So just go ahead and look around where your car ends. Or any clip, obviously. It doesn't have to be a car. Alright, so I think this is pretty good because this is the car I want to follow. So I'm actually just going to be using like around five seconds. And you can use page down, uh, you can use the page down key and the page up key to move around frame by frame. Now again, if you want to cut it, select the clip layer, control shift D, and then you can cut the clip. Now press delete, and boom. Now that you got your clip, we're actually going to start using the effect onto this clip. Alright, so what we're going to do first is you want to open your tracker panel onto your composition. So how you do that, you ask? Basically, you want to go to window and then go to tracker right here. Now this little panel should show up once you click that. And then what you wanna do is select your clip and D should show up. And what you wanna do is basically click stabilize motion. Now this little track point will show up and look, it will look confusing at first, but it will be super easy once you actually get like how it works and stuff. So this is what you call a track point. Basically, when you move your track point to somewhere you want it to track, it basically like recognizes the color and the vibrance of the clip and it tries to track frame by frame where the thing is moving. So basically you want to do this. You just want to dra drag your track point onto your car and basically what you want to do is you want to select this part, not the plus icon, not the uh, like the box. You want to press like the inside of the box and you want to move it around. So while pressing ALT, you just want to zoom out, scroll wheel, and then you want to move it like that, like that. So you want to move it. Oh, so basically you can do this by pressing uh, space bar, and then you can drag around your composition. And then again, uh, move this this way, use space bar, and click to do that. And then do the same thing. Don't press like the border of the box. Don't press like the plus icon. You want to press like this part of the box. This part. And then it will move. Alright, so do that. And just put it onto the car. So I'm going to do it on the very middle of the car. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. This should be pretty good. Now what you want to do. So... I'm, I'm just gonna give a quick disclaimer the bigger the box is the longer it's gonna take to process like the tracking thing so you want to make it like a good tracking like 
uh, radius but you don't want to make it too big so that it will take literally forever so if you want to go back to your original like zooming out position you just want to click this button and then hit fit now it'll uh, go back to your preview now so what while you have this selected what you want to do is go to your tracker panel again and then click uh oh also i have a few things to say make sure you select position checked and then make sure track type is stabilized current track tracker one motion uh, motion source is clip or like the clip name of the source name of the clip so if it's like clip 203 clip 203 you get it now you just want to scroll down and then click edit target make sure this is your clip and click ok and then you want to go to options and then make sure you copy down these settings luminance is uh, the channel uh, sub pixel positioning is checked uh, adapt feature you want to change this to actually stop tracking because this is basically if after effects like fails to track the car it basically tries to like readjust it but often that's really trash it's it's like awful so you just want to put it back to stop tracking so it just stops tracking when it fails to like track it now just go ahead and click ok and you want to scroll down and you want to click this uh play button and then it'll start tracking the car or your object obviously so i'll be back when the tracking is done Alrighty, so we're back and our tracker have successfully tracked our car and what you want to do is to not click out or not to do anything but basically you want to go to the tracker panel and you want to click apply right here just scroll down if you don't see it just scroll down and then click apply and then just make sure this apply dimensions is on x and y and click ok all right so i know it's gonna look very very weird at first your composition clip is like in a weird position and it's just really weird so what you want to do is go back to zero seconds of your clip and then it's gonna be, uh, be looking like this now basically what you want to do is click s on the keyboard while selecting the clip and you want to zoom in to your object and if you want to move it obviously just drag it like this and you want to zoom into your object which you want to zoom it onto so i'm going to be doing this and let's say i want it to be right here and go ahead and preview your finished product look at that it's perfectly motion tracking like stabilized motion tracking onto the car and i think it looks absolutely amazing you just want to zoom in play around if you want to like have different like i don't know have different positions and stuff but you can just zoom into it you can be be like this and it's just tracking onto the car and i think it looks really nice so yeah that's pretty much it for today's tutorial you can do this for any kind of like clips and stuff if you want to i think it looks really really good now make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye